In the dizzying heights of Wall Street, Jordan Belfort was more than a stockbroker. He was a maestro orchestrating a symphony of fraud, manipulation, and hedonism. Here's the unabridged account of his rise, fall, and everything in between. The genesis of Stratton Oakmont. Belfort's meteoric ascent began with the founding of Stratton Oakmont, a brokerage firm that would soon become synonymous with financial chicanery, his modus operandi pump and dump schemes, artificially inflating stock prices, then offloading them to unsuspecting investors. The result? Millions evaporated, fortunes shattered. The cult of greed. Belfort wasn't just a broker, he was a cult leader. He recruited young, impressionable minds, indoctrinating them into the worship of wealth. His mantra? Con clients into buying worthless stocks. The office buzzed with adrenaline, qualudes, and the intoxicating scent of money sex, drugs, and yachts. Belfort's personal life mirrored the chaos of his professional escapades. Cocaine flowed like a raging river, and qualudes were the currency of debauchery. His yacht parties were legendary, sex workers and excess galore. The wolf reveled in his own myth, the FBI's pursuit. Securities fraud was the heart of Belfort's criminal empire. He manipulated stock prices, defrauded shareholders, and danced on the edge of legality. The FBI, smelling blood, closed in. Belfort's empire crumbled, but not before he wore a wire, ratting out his partners and subordinates. Belfort's 22-month prison stint became a turning point. Behind bars, he discovered his passion for writing, exposing the excess, the lies, and the insatiable hunger for more. Post-prison, Belfort reinvented himself as a motivational speaker. Subscribe and comment the idea for the next video.